Well, I interviewed John Witherspoon, and we talked about that movie. And he said that everyone got $5,000 to do that movie. And I remember when I talked to A.J. Johnson, he said he didn't even get that. He just basically got gas money. Five grand. Everybody else wanted to do it. They're going to say they made more money. Ain't nobody made no money on that movie. Okay. 5000 Did Chris Tucker do, do about the same, you think? About the same thing. About the same, yeah. You, that's why I was mad. I didn't get no 5000 You got less than 5000 Yeah, Yeah. What'd you get? They paid me gas money to get up and then back home. You did it for free? Uh, basically. Basically. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, truly. You know what's what they call the favorite nations? I don't know if you've heard of favorite nations. A lot of people and actors mm -hmm. might know what it is. Favorite nations is when you have all the actors, that, whether you have five, some names may be bigger than others or smaller, whatever. If you're on the same level of working during that, the, the show, you're going to get paid the same thing. And nobody really made any money actually taping the movie where we made the money and still getting some wonderful residual checks right now. Uh, is the most incredible part of it. I've made more money on the residuals than I could tell you. And this, it's still, go and you know, it's still going strong. People are watching that like every day, all over the world. It is everywhere. And it, I mean, every day, all the time it's on. So that was, that's the blessing in itself. I've done a lot of different movies and TV shows too, where I did like little or nothing, believing in people to pay when you know it gets out, and which some of it, some of them have paid off, and some not. But you know, you're able to get some film on yourself at best, so all of that usually comes into play. So it's worth it out here, and this business is very, very competitive. Well, I guess in the movie there was a part when Chris Tucker called your character a hoe, which you, you got offended at and they ended up not using it. Right. Well, we, we did the reading and I didn't, I didn't really grasp the whole concept of what Miss Parker was all about. We, I don't think I got the whole script, but we did sit down and do a, like a table reading. Did we, do, I can't remember. Well, I, I, I was, no, that was in Harlem nights. That was in Harlem nights. We didn't do a table reading on Friday, but we did sit down and rehearse. And he was just talking. He was slamming Miss Parker. Miss Parker ain't this shit. Miss Parker's a hoe. Miss Parker. It was kind of very offensive. I'm like, wait, hold on. I just thought she was a sexy next door neighbor, you know, <laughs> and what have you. So that was something that was, to me, then a little offensive, but I, I shouldn't have taken it that way. But in essence, how it all worked out turned out, Miss Parker was a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> she was definitely the neighborhood hoe. That's for sure. <laughs> but that's okay. She's a good paid hoe at the time. Oh.